I remember my coach sort of saying that it might open, the bat face may open slightly. So I've got an orthodox grip and I, when I take this bat back, you'll see the bat face is ever so slightly open. But, but, but of course, by the time it comes down, it will be full on flush towards the ball. So that, that will go up, that will, that will be slightly open there, not too much, um, but slightly open. Uh, and also in terms of when it goes back, you can see it's going back over sort of a round off stump. Uh, in terms of height, probably it might be just on top of the off stump. So all, all of those things there are fairly orthodox and you're looking for them to be consistent and repeat. Uh, if you take your bat up too high, you may lose control. There's more that can go wrong. If you don't lift it up, if you keep it on the floor, you're not giving yourself as much time to hit the ball because when the ball's released, you've got to lift it up and then bring it down again. We see some players on the TV, perhaps their hands get out. And uh, there are certain players at Kent who, who have got their hands out here. Now, again, if they practice and they, they feel that they can be consistent, go with it. I'm all for individual differences. But in terms of orthodox coaching, what I would advocate in youngsters, that having your hands out here could lead to problems. So I prefer the hands to be in a little bit closer, tucked in here. That way you can play the ball tight to your body. Play it late. You'll often hear commentators talk about playing it late. Well, if you keep your hands in close, it allows you to control the bat face, playing the ball in tight to your body under your eye line.